No, you can't. Okay, okay. Hi, I'm Hi. Veronica. Hi, I'm Veronica, and welcome to JB Live Event. I'm here with Joe. <laughs> Don't come. And we're just so excited that you're in here joining us this day. So, what I say next? <laughs> Ask him what he, what he thinks of the event. Ask him what he thinks of the event. Joe, what do you think of the event? I think this event is amazing, Veronica. You, there are so many amazing people and such great teaching, and without it, I wouldn't have met you. Okay, so the minute she said, no, I can't, then she said, yes, I can. And then all she did was say hi. Now, the, that was great. Great idea. That was beautiful. Um, what I want you to do, please raise your hand again if you haven't made your first video. Okay, please look at somebody who, else who hasn't made their first video. Okay, and I want you to pick a partner. And if you have an iPhone, I want you to go outside during one of the breaks, and I want you to trade off recording a video. Today. Now. Awesome. That was a tough act to follow. But, um, so I'm going to dial it down a bit here and talk about doing a screen capture video for your first video. Um, no, those are awesome strategies. It's a great way to get started. Um, and I'm going to just reach those that you may be interested in doing screen capture videos as one of your first videos. Um, and I'm going to just give you a very specific tip for content creation, leveraging private label rights content that's already out there. So one, one idea you could do, you know, find some really good PLR material on whatever niche market you're going out there. I guarantee whatever niche you're in, you can find it. Take the content from that ebook or article, put it into you know, bullet points onto a PowerPoint slide. You have the PowerPoint slide, you could use OpenOffice, it's free. You could use Screencast-O-Matic to record it. I recommend PowerPoint and Camtasia, those are the best ones. Um, then all you have to do is get out there. I use a Logitech USB headset. It's probably the best investment I make. In fact, my wife wonders why I buy two or three of them at a time. Um, it's mainly because it's that important to my business. And uh, at one day, I'm going to emboss all of mine in gold someday because they're that valuable to my business. And uh, what I would do is sit there, voice your screen. You know, voice what's on your screen. Go through the, the slides, the bullet points. Um, you could even use the ebook, the PLR ebook you have as a transcription. And uh, bada bing, bada bang, you got your first video out there. And it's a great way to get content. In fact, I have a video with several hundred thousand views. And it's probably the most dull video about me reading about Doberman Pinscher dog breeds. I don't even own a Doberman Pinscher. And I get traffic to a pet website through that. So it's so simple. And it's just something you just need to take action on and Nike it. Just do it. Brilliant. Great, great content, Paul. And all brilliant except for it's bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you, if you do want to do an on-camera video, my suggestion is keep it really short. You know, a lot of people think, oh, I've got to come up with a ton of content to do this. Think 30 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. You don't have to do long videos when you start out. Pick one of your best tips. What is something that every time you tell someone, they, they have that aha minute. They go, oh, wow, that's really great. I can use that right now. Pick one tip, um, do a little scripting. I mean, not scripting where you're going to memorize it or read it, but enough to get the thought in your head of what you want to say and just let go and say it. And get two or three of those 30 second, one minute videos done and you'd be amazed at how easy you get on a roll. It starts snowballing and get that momentum going. And you know, we've all seen on, on uh, news shows that there's another point of view of videos. You don't have to be looking straight to the camera. You could be interviewing me and the camera could be here catching me from this angle where I'm talking to you. This way I'm not looking like a deer in the headlights straight at the camera. So if you're, you don't even actually need a person there asking you questions. You could just pretend there's somebody there and answer the questions you're not having to look in the camera. One of the videos that I if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.